I have to say, this is going to be controversial, but I think Na 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 is my favorite doll series at the moment. I think more than Rainbow High, forgive me. <laughs> Hey there plastics, it's Joe and welcome to you yet another video. I know it's been a minute, it's been a while, it's been what like two months since I've done a doll video, but I'm back. I am finally settled in to my new studio space. What do you guys think? I have more things coming to finish up the studio space, but here's a new setup. I got a new microphone for some ASMR. If you guys like that, some doll opening ASMR. And I got these lovely shelves with my favorite dolls at least up on them. I have a lot of other dolls. I wanted to get back to you guys. I've missed you guys. It's been a long break, but I'm happy to be back. And today, what are we gonna be opening? We are opening the rest of the Na 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 Surprise Teens. We are gonna be doing Rubble Dare and Samantha Smarty. Which one should I go for first? You know what? I think I might like her most so I will do Rebel Dare first. Here's the packaging. We've all seen it guys. I know this is kind of old news but I've had these and I really wanted to open them so let's give it a shot right now I'm gonna try something new. I'm not gonna film the unboxing or I'm just gonna fast forward it so we can just get right to the doll. <laughs> My god she looks so beautiful. Okay, you guys can skip over this. So, here she is, right out of the box. And oh my god, I am already in love. Look at the socks. They have little Dobermans in them. I love the dark hair, and I love the black theme. Let's get her out of the box. Actually, before we get her out of the box, let's go ahead and open up our surprises. All right, so here it is, surprise number one. What do we have here? Whoosh. Of course, <laughs> another brush. You can never have too many doll brushes. I am obsessed with these doll brushes. And I love the little Doberman ears. So cute. And I love the purple color, obviously. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we go. And so let's open her up. And we have shoes. Look at these boots. Okay, these are like super gothy. They have chains. They are very like Doberman-like. And oh, of course, they have to be Louis Vuittons because we can't have dolls not wearing designer shoes. The iconic Christian Louboutin. We got our shoes right there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's see, what do we have here? All right. And we have, ooh, oh, it's inside out. <laughs> but you know it's premium. So there it is, the Prima tag, the Prima. And there's like a little strap to hold the skirt in place so it doesn't go too high. And oh, wow. Okay, this is really nice. So we have here a leather or vegan leather a skirt. <laughs> oh, look at that zipper detail and the side and then all the eyelets that are embroidered. Is it actually laced up? Yes, it's actually laced up. Oh my God, you guys. And of course the belt buckle. God, it's been, it's been a while since I've opened a doll. It's been a few months and my God, I forgot how much, I forgot how much MGA just kills in the fashions. All right, let's move on to the next surprise, shall we? Okay, and we have here ooh, a t-shirt, purple, favorite color, that says Na 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 World Tour. Oh God, I love it. Okay, this is super cute. And there's thunderbolts on the sides. I have to say this font kind of reminds me of like the Tiki Room. Anyone know what I'm talking about? It's very Tiki Room. <laughs> and uh, the thunderbolts 
and then a uh, teal outline under world tour cool okay we still got two more surprises all right Oh my god, I was not expecting this. You guys, the detail, the detail. Don't don't tell me MGA doesn't know how to do fashion because they know how to do fashion. Look at this gorgeous plaid jacket. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. It's green and it has red and yellow stripes and plaiding. Guys, the zipper detailing. It has zipper on the sleeves. Amazing. And then leatherette collar and lapels. Oh, yeah, it's always the one thing with the fashions is that they're made beautifully, but sometimes things fall off. And we have a tiny little button that just fell off. But you know what? I can clue that back on. Nothing to cry over, you know. All right. So we all know what this should be, right? <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> and of course, it's her little cap. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so cute. It has the little red eyes embroidered, the cute little ears that Dobermans have. You know, they're pointed up. You know, I actually just recently found out that Dobermans' ears aren't naturally like st stuck up all the time. Like, they actually put metal rods through them. That's quite sad. I wouldn't do that to a dog. Speaking of which, I do have a new dog. If you guys have not heard or seen, Perry is my new puppy. Follow me on my personal Instagram if you want to see more photos and videos of how cute and adorable he is. And let me know. Tell me in the comments, you guys want to see a video with Perry helping me open dolls? Probably not the best idea, but <laughs> her name is Rebel Dare and her birthday recently passed. It was on February 13th and her catchphrase is don't mess with me. I control the guest list. Okay, so she's, you know, kind of got some like bodyguard vibes, some um, bouncer vibes. Yeah, that's what you call them, bouncer. All right. And last but not least, the doll. I'll be right back. I need some scissors. All right, I'm back with Scissors. <sighs> okay. Okay, just, hello, microphone. Microphone drop. Microphone drop. Good day. All right, so, oh, here she is, guys. I'm obsessed with this hair. I love this dark hair. That reminds me of me. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so she obviously loves going to concerts because she has a wristband that says VIP on there. I'm sitting alone in the VIP. And then she has like a Doberman like, you know, um, collar on her wrist. And then she has black and yellow underwear and a chain necklace with a paw. Oh, so adorable. And I'm just obsessed with these socks. I need a pair of these socks. MGA, you guys should be making socks of these because I'm always in love with the socks. I would buy them. I love socks. <laughs> and her face up, Gorgelinta. Hello, my little Gorgelintresses. Gorgeous green eyes, black lips. You know, it's very smoked out eyeshadow. I'm, I'm in love. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get her dressed, guys. Hey, you guys. Let's see if she could stay on her own. Let's see. Come on. I know you can. Ah! <laughs> she could stand on her own. All right, guys. So here she is. She is absolute. Oh my god. I am obsessed. Oh. Whoop. I am loving this outfit so much. It's giving me like very 90s vibes. If you guys know, you know, growing up in the 90s, you'd see, you know, remember the whole grunge movement? This is such a grunge look right here. 
I love the purple accents. I love the detailing. This really reminds me of my dog. <laughs> Perry. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention, she has like a bunch of rings and they spell out rock. Just the details, just the details. <sighs> what a great way to start. It's been a minute since I've opened a doll and my God, I am so happy I started with her. But guess what? <sighs> so beautiful. We have another na na na. One more to open. Now these both have plaid, which hmm, I should have worn plaid. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm wearing my Teddy Fresh shirt. Oh, you can see the tag yeah, right there. Teddy Fresh, got a rep. Love their line, gotta support our creators. Samantha Smarty. I'm really excited about this one because I love owls. All right, let's open her up. Here she is, directly out of the package. <laughs> I'm already in love. I love the red hair, I love the plaid, I love the prep. You know, I'm obsessed with dolls that sport a preppy look, and this is no exception. So, why don't we get on to the surprises? First surprise, I think we already know what this is, but if you haven't been following along... <laughs> so, another brush. Yeah, actually, I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. Because I feel like this is the exact same brush that um, uh, Shark Boy, what's his name? Uh, Quinn Nash, that he came with. It's just in red. I don't know if owls really have ears like this or fins or. Oh, I guess actually it could be wings. You know what? That might be wings. Never mind. I still think it's the same brush. But you know what? We're not here to collect brushes, we're here to collect dolls. So let's see what the next surprise is. And we have these cute little pumps. Oh my gosh, look at those, you guys. They have cute little owls on the inside. I mean, on the front, cute owls on the front. They're kind of like a, like a mauve color, kind of, with a black heel and some white lace trimming. These are freaking adorable. I love these. Okay, surprise number two. And we have, oh, oh my god, this is so cute, oh my god, okay, so we have here a plaid dress with like overall dress, oh my god, this is so cute, it's very Christmassy, I will say that though, especially with the glitter, um, the sparkling thread and randomly in between. That gives me kind of Christmas vibes, which is kind of a little bit tacky, but it's still really cute. I love the black pocket in the front and the two little buttons representing, you know, the buckles for overalls. Of course, Velcro for a closure. Oh my God, so cute, so cute. Can I just say, I really love, oh, that's I've said this before, but I just love how they use like real materials at MGA. They're not scared to spend the money where it counts. And where it counts is in the fashions. I love that. I love you, MG. Surprise number three. And we have <laughs> a cute little t shirt, but you know, it's supposed to be a little blouse. Oh my god, that is so cute. And it has a little black bow on the front the sleeves are ruffled so they're a little bit poofy very cute very cute and they even gave it like a little collar along the front yeah this one is a different kind of collar so cute so cute next one this is number one two three four surprise number four all righty if i can find the Oh, this one has so many layers. Jesus, how many layers does she have? Oh my God, it's a cute little cardigan. Oh my God, that's so cute. A knitted cardigan or a sweater, white. It's so cute. Oh, there's even like cute little detail right in the front. I don't know if you guys can see. Look, I got a block my face. 
but there's really cute little detailing along the front like a little trim and this looks like a real cardigan oh my god you guys they're too much mj you're too much sometimes in a good way i'm too much <laughs> all right next one uh. oh this is the last one <laughs> So, of course, this means it's her hat that is inside out. <laughs> oh, so cute. So it's supposed to look like an owl. That is so cute. It has like little spots. Oh my god, that's adorable. Okay. Her name is Samantha Smarty. Samantha? And her birthday is actually pretty close to mine. It's November 8th. And her catchphrase is, I'm smart. Get over it. <laughs> okay, I'll get over it. Kind of reminds me of someone who I live with. Also known as my partner. <laughs> and last but not least, it's time for the doll. All right, here she is, Samantha Smarty. Her cute red hair, cute bangs, cute underwear. Oh my God, look at her little tushy. It says cute and it's the periodic table. So C U N T E. Wonder what chemicals those are. Hold on, I gotta grab my phone. Hey Siri, what chemical is C U on the periodic table? The answer I found is Q. Okay, so C U is copper, number 29. So they've done their research, that is correct. T E is tellurene. Tellurium. 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 It is, and I don't really know what tellurium is. Tellurium is a chemical element with the symbol TE and atomic number 52. It is brittle, mildly toxic, rare, civil white metalloid. Tellurium. Tellure Oh my god, I can't say that. Tellurium is chemically related to selenium, selen selenium, selenium, and sulfur, all three of which are chalg oh my god, chalgogens. Chalcogens. If you guys want to look up more information, you know, ask Siri or Wikipedia. <laughs> I love that detail. They actually use real periodic numbers. That is so cute. I gotta tell my partner that he would love that because he's a scientist. What else? So she has two bracelets. One's an owl and one says A plus. And then she has owl watch on her other hand. And I love her stockings. Also in green and red. Let's put her clothes on. Here she is, Samantha Aww. Smarty. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. She is so freaking adorable. I think she's actually my favorite. I love this outfit so freaking much. Now it does need a little bit of an iron down there. Nothing too hard to fix. Um, but oh my god, overall, she is absolutely incredible. I am in love. Wow, okay, so this is my fourth of the Nanana teens. I have Quinn Nash over there, and I also have the um, Coco Von Sparkle, and I am so happy to add these two. Now that's four out of the five. <laughs> oh my god, I love both of these. Okay, if I had to choose one between four, hold on, let me get the other. Okay, can you guys see me? I'm over here. So this is my whole Nana Na Teens collection. I love them all. Oh my god. I have to say, this is gonna be controversial, but I think Nana Na is my favorite doll series at the moment. I think more than Rainbow High. Forgive me. <laughs> you didn't say that. Tell me you did not just say that. Now, I love Rainbow High so freaking much, but there's just something so adorable and so endearing about the Nanana -na -na surprise dolls. And with these Nanana -na -na teens, oh my gosh, they have really been killing it. These are incredible. 
Now there is one na 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 that I did not get, and that was the Chihuahua one. I don't remember what her name was, but you know what? Stay tuned guys, you never know. These are incredible. MGA, you guys have killed it with this. You guys are really killing the doll industry right now. Like, I don't think any other doll line is doing high quality fashions and shoes and repaints and everything. Like, it can't be beat. Like, my God, I haven't seen this since like Monster High. This is incredible. Oh yeah, and speaking of Monster High, aren't we all excited for next year? Hee hee hee. So yeah, guys, that was my review. Leave a comment down below. What did you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Would you be more of a baddie like Rebel Dare? Or are you more preppy like Samantha Smarty? I think I'm more on the preppy side. Although I do have kind of a, you know, Rebel Dare side. This is why I love these two. These two are like the good and bad angels on your shoulders. You should stop collecting Barbie. Mattel is evil. Barbie is evil. No. Barbie is sweet. She's the original. You should never forget about Barbie. No, forget Barbie. No, Barbie is sweet. No. Ha <laughs> ha. A little bit of playtime. Thank you guys for being so patient with me and joining me back on my channel. I have so much more. I have a new series that I want to start where I open thrift store finds. I already have a whole cabinet full of dolls that I found in thrift stores. And I also just want to branch out, see what else there is. You know, there's a lot of other collectibles out there that I love, not just dolls. You never know what you'll see on Plastic Chat. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all notifications so you know when I post my next video. And with that said, keep it plastic!